Work at the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam continues through the night. Floodlights help workers connect iron rods. A beehive atmosphere on top of the central section of the 1.7 kilometer dam. Concrete slabs suspended from giant cranes for the next layer of the wall. The project's chief engineer says work is so advanced that some of the 16 power turbines are already in place. Within this hydropower scheme, we have two powerhouses. One is on the right side and the other one is on the left side. The right powerhouse is equipped with 10 units and the left powerhouse is equipped with 6 units. In total, we have 16 units. With this, we can generate up to a maximum of five, I mean 400 megawatts of electricity. The final capacity of the dam, however, will exceed 6,000 megawatts. It will allow Ethiopia not only to satisfy its domestic needs in electric power, but also to become a major exporter of electricity to regions as far away as South Africa and Western Europe. With 63% uh, of the construction achieved, according to engineers here, the dam is beginning to take its final shape. If you see this part of it, it represents the highest level. Beyond it, that's the beginning of the reservoir of the lake on the upstream side. It is going to be able to hold up to 74 billion cubic meters of water. A five kilometer long supplementary dam is being built to wall this side of the reservoir that will cover an area of 1,874 square kilometers. Despite the cost of the dam nearing five billion dollars and the controversy around it, Ethiopia insists on completing it through its own means. Its next door neighbor Sudan says it's happy with the project, saying it will preserve its share of the water that used to go to Egypt. But Egypt, the major downstream benefiter of the Nile water, is concerned the dam will affect its share of this vital resource. Ethiopian officials say Egypt wants construction to stop, pending the completion of technical studies and the final agreement over the issues. But Ethiopia is refusing to comply. Construction has never stopped and will never stop until the project is completed. During the technical committee meetings, the work continued on the dam. We are not concerned by what Egypt thinks. Ethiopia is committed to benefit from its water resources without causing harm to anyone. Ethiopia hasn't made clear how long it will take to fill the dam or how it plans to fulfill its promise of not harming downstream countries like Egypt. As rhetoric over the project heats up, sources have told us there's maximum security around the dam with an undeclared no-fly zone and anti-aircraft defenses. There have been rumors on social media here in Ethiopia about possible airstrikes by Egypt to destroy the dam. All triggering fears that what could be Africa's most ambitious hydroelectric project could perhaps provoke a destructive conflict. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, at the Grand Renaissance Dam, northwestern Ethiopia.